So I've already sorted through the 12AX7s that are in this preamp utilizing the Micronaut. So here is a good 12AX7 which would go back in the preamp. See she's warmed up. This is triode 1, triode 2. Tap on her. She's nice and quiet. That is a good 12AX7. Now here is one that I removed from the unit. Take a listen to that one. Here she comes. Hear that? She's pretty microphonic. And this one here, Telefunken, also unfortunately microphonic. Wait for it to warm up. Let's try out two. Listen to trial one. Ice picky. Then I heard some rumbling in the preamp, and these electroharmonix tubes have some heater to cathode leakage. So take a listen to this. So it comes up. Here it comes. Hear that? That is heater to cathode leakage, and I actually found two tubes in there. Both electroharmonics, both with the leakage. Which would really give you some terrible audio. You hear that? Doesn't matter what triode you're on. Those are bad. And it's a little bit microphonic too. So I sorted through his tubes, got the best ones in the preamp, and I'm letting the owner know it's time to buy a complete new set. So yes, in case you're interested, D-Lab is manufacturing the Micronauts. This is the Model 2, and I have a Model 3 in the works. They can test preamp tubes only, so it can do the EF86, 12A X, T's, and U's, and then 6SL7 or 6SN7. That is the extent of what the Micronaut can do at this point. All right, now we're gonna do some testing using the new Micronaut 3. This is identical to the 2's in circuitry, it's just a little bit easier to construct. Right now, I have a new Electroharmonix 12A X7 installed. We're monitoring on a scope. Go to the other side. So you see that guy's in pretty good shape. Now I have a couple electroharmonics here that were in a box with a preamp and he was having rumble issues in his audio. Let's see if we can spot it. Take a look at the scope. Hear that hum? So obviously this one has some heater cathode leakage. There it is. Quite a bit different from the first one. Now here is a third electroharmonix. Let's see if it has the same problem. It also came out of the same preamp. Yep, here it is. Same thing. Now you would not need a scope to detect this problem, but this just gives you a visual. There's the other triode. So those are not usable tubes, especially for a preamp. I've inserted an old Telefunken. You can see on the scope she looks pretty clean, but watch when I tap on it. So she's pretty microphonic. Once again, 
not a good choice for your guitar amp. Now I've got this old GE tube. This one was reported as weak and noisy. So let's see what we get. So I'm going to try out one. You can see the cathode current coming up. Should be somewhere mid scale. And of course, there is some hum. It's not microphonic, but it's also not producing much gain. Okay, here's the other tryout. Okay, that one's pulling the right current, but look. Oh, yeah. Pretty interesting. So, that's the purpose of the Micronauts. It gives you a bench top way to evaluate your tubes without tube rolling in your amp and wearing out your sockets. So the Micronauts have an input feature. So you could also plug in a preamp tube and either drive it with the audio generator or your guitar and then take the output side, go to an amp and you can actually play these tubes. So the Micronaut also has a dedicated socket for EF86 tubes. That one is not in good shape, is it? I'm still working on the line. I have two of the Model 2s ready. I'm building up four of the Model 3s. I'll let you guys know when they become available.